Tennessee fans were left disappointed on the third Saturday of September once again, as it was New Year's same result, with the Falls falling to Florida in Gainesville, 33-23. Florida marched down the field for a touchdown on its first series, and took over deep in Tennessee territory thanks to a series of vol miscues throughout the first half and into the start of the second. Although UT fans might normally have taken some solace in the defense stiffening and holding the Gators to a series of field goals, most fans will likely remember the game more for the loss of talented UT receiver Justin Hunter. Hunter, having racked up a collection of 100-yard receiving games so far at Tennessee, went down with a knee injury on his first catch of the day and never returned. The loss of Hunter seemed to rattle the balls, who found themselves getting the offense going in both halves just as the periods were drawing to a close. For the day, Tennessee quarterback Tyler Bray still finished with 288 yards passing and three touchdowns, with Michael Rivera, 71 yards and one touchdown, and Day Rick Rogers, 62 yards and one touchdown, leading the way for the Vols. Freshman DeAnthony Arnett got his first serious action, leading all receivers on both teams with eight catches. UT's running game was stifled, to say the least. Torin Poole finished with just 18 yards on nine carries, and the Vols as a whole finished with minus nine rushing when sacks were factored in, and just 27 yards even when they weren't. UT falls to 2-1, and 0-1 and in the SEC with a loss, and will next face Buffalo on October 1st after an off day next week.